Good morning, everybody. It is Stephanie Luares from Heart and Soul Fitness and Wellness. And I wanted to come on today and talk about something that now that Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday have all flooded your email, today comes Giving Tuesday. And this is something that you know, I've had a soapbox on for many years on the integrity of the donor dollar. But even more so, um, now that I'm not in an organization receiving those dollars, um, I've learned not only to look at the integrity of donor dollars, when I say the integrity of the donor dollars, where is your money going? Does it go to administrative fees? Does it go to direct service to um, whatever cause it is you're supporting? You know, where, how does that dollar get split up? That is something very important. We need to hold anybody that we donate to accountable for those actions. But now that I am further removed from being in the nonprofit sector, in addition to the integrity of that donor dollar, I want a personal relationship with who I'm giving money to. Whether it's my business, whether it's personal, I want to know where that money goes, how it impacts people, and what is the quality of the people in the organization? And I'm not talking about like their qualifications or their education standards. I want to know, is the staff happy? Are volunteers happy? Are those staff and volunteers treated well? And are they happy in serving in the capacity that they are or is it more a sense of obligation or, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of emotion behind that. But I want to know that the people in the organization, whether paid or unpaid, are treated well, are happy, and truly bought into the mission of what they support. And I will drop links into the comments for all of these organizations that I'm gonna talk about. But um, there are four international organizations that my business supports on a monthly basis. The first is Saki for Girls Education. And this, this group solely exists to help Girls and young women in the slums of India learn to read, um, get that education that commonly in their culture they do not receive so that they can ultimately take that education, support their family, change that generational poverty, and do something exciting with life. The second program is the Power of Love Women's Entrepreneur Program. What the, what the Power of Love does is takes African women whose families have been impacted by HIV and AIDS and provides microloans so that women are able to develop their own small business to really come back and serve their family, financially support their family in a way that they haven't been able to do before. The third is the Rose, the Rose International Fund for Children, but in specifically the Deaf Women's Empowerment Group, um, part of the Rose Foundation. And what the Rose Foundation does with this Deaf Women's Empowerment Group is provides Deaf women an opportunity not only for fellowship among women like them, but with an income. They, they come together, they learn skills to work, they create um, 
greeting cards, hand-stitched items, and one of the most important things in countries like this is uh, reusable sanitary products. Because we know in undeveloped countries, when girls get their period, they're not going to school. You're not going to school, you're not getting an education. And so it's just that cycle that they get to break that one little cog in the wheel that keeps girls from succeeding. And the uh, fourth one, the one that I've supported the longest in my business is the Girl Up Un Initiative Uganda. And this takes girls, young women from the slums in Uganda and provides them leadership training, uh, education, economic empowerment, so that they're able to go back to their communities and rise up. And there's nothing that I could say that's going to convince you that these are worthy organizations. Like I said, go to the links, check out the organizations. The reason I support these organizations is because of that personal contact even though they are on the other side of the world, I can tell you the CEO's name. I can tell you what these organizations do. I can pull up in a couple seconds their most recent newsletter to know what they're doing with their money. And these organizations are transparent. I know where what money is coming in and what's going out and what it's supporting. I wholeheartedly feel comfortable in my business investing in these organizations. Now, pulling back on a local level, both personally and in my business, we support our local church. Um, and yes, tithes are important. I'm not going to get into the whole scriptural basis of that, but I know what my tithe pays for. And it, truly anybody in our church could, they could come up, they could ask me, they could ask another elder, where, where does my money go? But being an elder in my church, being on the finance committee, I'm able to see where does my money go? Where does that tithe go to serve our church and our community and the greater good? And you know, it's, it's important that even that biblical giving, that spiritual giving, we feel comfortable in how it's being spent. The other organization that my business supports locally, locally is two, um, two fundraising legs of the Delta Kappa Gamma uh, chapter here in Lake Havasu. And one program they have is called Sherry Shoes. That provides shoes for kids in our schools that otherwise cannot afford those shoes and need them to continue to be comfortable, to be successful in the classroom. You are uncomfortable. If you do not have what you need in school, you're not going to succeed. End of story. The other is called the Panty Project. And just as it sounds, it provides underwear for boys and girls from the little, little kids all the way through young ladies in high school, whether it's accidents, people get their periods, whatever it is, it's easy to provide somebody a pair of underwear and what they need instead of somebody having to go home or not being able to come to school because they don't have the basic supplies that they need. Also through my Kiwanis Club, our Kiwanis Club provides um, additional female products to our schools so that those needs are met as well. So long, long story short, I just want to encourage you today that as you get bombarded with ads and with emails and with requests for money, even walking into the stores these days, um, that you think about, does my dollar actually make an impact or do, is there somewhere that I can be 
giving this money that it's going to be better served to make an impact in this world. Um, like I said, I'll put those links for the different groups that I mentioned. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Have a great day.